Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is the one, the only, the Azathen back with more Azeroth Wars 1.88G. Please go check it out on Diplomunia.com and Hive Workshop if you want to know more about custom campaigns and maps. And we are in part three of this phenomenal match. In the end of the game, the people left. A surprising number, given that we're almost an hour in and the beginning fights have just finished. We're almost an hour in, and the first fights are all done. They, they've just now wrapped up, and the allies are beginning to shift and change, and we'll see what's going to happen in this last third of the game. As we do still have Silent Shadows, Bleeding Blade, Rhino Masher, Sindelad, B. Lothar, John Deere, Langur, Pasta, Dark Elf, 1019, and Kandafels? Kandafels? Kandalful. Kandalfis. <laughs> I don't know what your name is, bro! God, some of you people just have weird names. Alright, moving on. This game has been going on for a while now. And I got to do more. I got to do the Slugfest Sunday. It's gonna be awesome. And, alright, Bleeding Blade. Fight to the last, says Yellow. I like that. I like that stick to itiveness. Man, this Magdaredon's getting crazy. If he gets boots and rings. He's going to be feeling good. Once he takes out the Great Forge, he'll feel very confident, but... Problem here is... I'm burping. Uh, problem here is... Ooh, I that tastes like banana bread. I know I haven't had banana bread in like four months. Ooh! Ah! That grossed me out. Okay, moving on. Oh, banana bread. Uh, what Teal doesn't want to see happen is, before he can actually manage to take out this base, have him back there and kill and he knows that's a possibility. He know okay. He's like, yeah, yeah, okay, I'm getting mag out. He's like, I know. I know what's going on. I know he's waiting. I'm just going to spam units, and then everything's going to be fine. Pasta is allied, so the horde is now allied. Ooh. Ooh, they are. Ooh, the horde is now allied with teal. Oh, yes. Oh, the horde is now allied with teal, and the game thinks I've ruined it. This, this could be pivotal. With the chain heals that Pink can bring to the table, some of the really overpowered hero squads Grey has, if Teal just shifts them some money, he can have a remarkable force adding to his that can possibly counter the King Varian buffs that the North Alliance is now going to be having. I mean, with that with that shift of a line, this is so cool, I like it. It's kind of shifting naturally. I don't know what Brown's up to. Brown's kind of like, eh, but uh... I don't know, we might see, we might see. Brown even joined that alliance. Four players against four players seems pretty fair if Dark Green starts regaining some of his lands. Orange already deep in Teal's base. Level 18 Varian now, he says. Not happy about it. I wouldn't be either. <laughs> I'll be a little upset. Just a wee bit pissed off. Survive, Yellow. Please survive. <gasps> oh, shit. It actually did survive. Ooh. Ooh, he held! Galen with with his, his stuns. Ooh, Lango left the game. Pink's out. He will. Okay, so with Pink's out of the game, but he did ally. So that means that he does have the option of using his allies' heroes. And he does have a full hero squad. He's getting these Shattered Hand Executioners 3-3 three, three upgrades. Probably not matching the upgrades of the North Alliance. North Alliance has been a bit more aggressive with their upgrades. Uh, whereas Teal just spammed a lot of units. He went for a heavy strategy. Although we... Okay. Well, the real test is going to be Purple's units. Purple usually has the most upgrades on his melee. 3-4? Okay, 3-4 seems fair. Yellow building a few Dwarven Warriors to stay alive. Longbowman forced back. Uh, I don't think that he knows their allies. Just about to get interesting. I do hope it gets interesting. Te Ooh, Teal's brought around a fleet. He's going to sink some ships and cause some damage. He might even manage to take out a lot of Stromguard. Ooh, ooh, it's a tasty option. <gasps> but Orange, Orange has built up a small fleet of his own. Not to be outdone by the Horde. No, he will possibly even build some... Ooh, might be coming out here. That looks like the right number for some of these galleys. Alliance frigates. Or he's going to build... Okay, he's going to build Hydromancers and just spam Water Elementals because in all cases, spam Water Elementals is the answer from Orange. It's just, it's such, it's always, it's always, it's like, mmm, god, I wish I could cross that river, Water Elementals. Mmm, god, I wish I could kill that tower without losing units, Water Elementals. Oh, god, I wish I could assault the other end of the map. 
across an entire ocean. Mm, water elementals. Oh, oh, what's going on down south now? What shenanigans have we as? Wow, Teal's actually doing a great job. Even using, oh, he's microwing the Doom Guards, using their stomp, casting Cripple and Curse, and trying to do his very best to take out the Kirin Tor. He knows that if he manages to kill these demis off, they're a long way away from home, and there's small chance of them getting out. But Green will be chain healing these in just a moment, I expect, as the Megas come into it. Let's see the chain heals. Maggie is casting his ultimate. No, he's not. Maggie's not casting his ultimate. But they do get silenced, and he gets told to stop it because it's clearly not polite. He's yelling profanities out the window like an angry, crazy person. We can't have that. That's not okay. At least in my book. I was hungry between episodes. So I went and made a hot dog, right? Like, I made it after part one. This is part three. I have not finished the second of two hot dogs that I made. And when I say hot dog... I don't mean I made a hot dog, like, ooh, yeah, ooh, bun. I mean there's just it's just a hot dog on a plate cooked. It's good stuff. Ooh, dark green. I'm not actually starving, guys. I just, I'm just lazy as shit. I have bread, and I don't want to go to the store for actual hot dog buns. Alright, ooh, Teal kind of deciding to hold a little bit here, doing a bit of damage with his Doom Guard. He is going to run, and we have not seen Teal lose his heroes. That's good news, but any more assaults? Any more angles? No? Except that, yes, Yellow is beginning to uh, assault with this. Troll, he's like, Troll, where are you, buddy? I need you in this fight. Troll left. I, don't, I didn't see Gray's name. Gray's not here, buddy. Gray left. Oh no! The Griffins are attacking! Teal is in disarray! Whatever will he do? The world is destroyed! Such tragedy! And uh, as we're seeing here, looks good. Mmm! Teal's got an Air Force. I'll give him that. Well, 15 Mac Theridan, but the crown still remains on Dark Green, I believe. Uh huh. <laughs> and with Outriders, he's just hauling ass. Zero, zero upgrades. Gotta give him a lot of credit. For not upgrading Priest and having zero, zero upgrades, he held on for a super long time. That was some top tier micro hero, uh, hero management. And I think if he'd had Bolvar there, possibly better to have a level 13 Bolvar, level 13 Varian rather than a level 17 Varian. I think. I think that that's how that would balance out. What was this new tactic, Masher? <laughs> Ooh. Green's kind of mocking him like, hey, what was that new tactic you were doing? Oh, it's a uh, Neltharaku. Oh, Neltharaku with its, oh, it's splash damage. Ooh, this is looking rough here. They're doing a lot of damage to the air units, but Teal's not backing up, and now Orange has spent a bit of his mana. He's starting to get a little low on the Kirin Tor. Uh, at least one of them was very low. It appears the others are just fine. And Teal's holding on. Just I attack Stormwind by C and attack Yellow at Darkshire at the same time. Yeah, that was actually... Uh, what? Well, wait, was he allied to Grey the whole time? No, because Grey and him weren't allied for a while. I thought. Alright, this is it. This is Teal's time to hold. And I don't know how it's going to go. Uh... By the way, the alt button works again. Uh, but it just looks like a mess right there. Oh, God. Okay, okay, that's... Teal's losing. That's what I can tell you right there. That's Teal's line right there. And that is just collapsing Magtheridon now. Completely getting destroyed and surrounded. Not a chance he's getting out of there. Oh, man, that is brutal. Ah, maybe he's too fat! It's a friggin' Outrider in the way. Please, if that blood... Oh, it's a Bloodless Totem, not a Stasis Trap. But Magtheridon! Ho! Oh, oh, ho! I'm rooting for you! I'm rooting for you, buddy! I'm rooting for you! Oh, he got healed! He Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what happens sometimes. Oh, Zula had the whack does manage to grab the eye, though. Now, Magtheridon's done. Alright, Brown. Brown needs to ally Teal. 
because that is the only way he's going to hold against four other players. They need two players now to hold against four. No chance besides that. Maggie's dead. Yellow's celebrating. Kind of a dick move, but it's okay. We understand. You know, you get caught up in it. It's been an hour. He's been fighting this fight for an hour. You know, a lot of people want a Warcraft or Starcraft game. If that gets to an hour, those players are like, they're worn thin. They're, uh, they're invested. It hurts. Hour and a half to two hours, regularly. That's what that's what you're dealing with when you have an Azeroth Wars player. You have a player who's it's a little masochistic. We, it's, mm. Oh, Brown's here! Woo! Is Brown allied to Bra Teal? Yes, Brown is in fact allied to Teal. And his keepers of the Grove have been upgraded. They are now quite strong with 905 armor, tw 905 health, 23 armor. And unfortunately, he just dies immediately. Malfurion dies. Crown of Stormwind gets dropped. Ooh, okay. So he takes that. Thanks, OJ. Okay, so hopefully Brown does not continue to lose things like that because this Scenarius is going to be very weak. But Brown should have a lot of money. He has, shouldn't have to have spent anything else. Yeah, he indeed is almost fully upgraded. And now has a lot of money with which to spam. And the base that he's created from which to do it from. And if, I hope he brings more Ancients because I would be very happy. Mm, okay. He, he's, he's spamming Dryads and that's not working. And um, uh, Fandral's gonna die. Fandral's gonna super die. Fandral's gonna die so hard he's never gonna come back to life. Fandral's dead. Alright, he continues to spam... Uh, oh, wow. Hey, guys. I'm worried about Snarius. Luckily, Dark Green and Purple didn't notice, so they can't use the speed aura slash Garethos' super movement. Broken ability there. Uh, there will be no will be no real problem. Very close. Blue still in the game? Blue has nothing. I don't know what Blue is doing. Did Blue leave? He's just observing. That's what he's doing. Blue, what can you see? Blue's like, I can see that there's a fight, but I wish I could see what was happening right now. And the Ancient Protector does fall. Uh, Brown must have burnt quite a bit of his money just spamming those there. Eh, not a real noticeable dent. <gasps> Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh, thank God. Oh, man, those Griffin Riders. There's there's nothing, really, that can attack air around here. If he'd just chased it down, I think he probably could have killed off Scenarius. That would have been it. Always remember that. Always remember yellows when you're thinking, oh, Griffins. Like, um, they're okay. They're good. Like, that's why you get Griffins. Because that feeling, you know, when someone lands and kicks your fucking ass and wipes out an entire base and eventually gets away after a big long fight, and their heroes sailing away on the boat, and you can feel them, you can feel them looking at you, taunting you from the boat, like, I oh, whooped your ass, touched your land with my nasty feet. And then you get rage, but if you have griffins, you can really avoid that rage. Griffins! For avoiding 99% uh, of your rage since 1999. Teal's gonna move out again. Small force of orange here. It's six four upgrades, showing that they also are beginning to have quite a lot of disposable income. Probably a lot on yeah. Orange is sitting on two k. See, it's still they're still not at a point where they should be sitting on that much money ever. Come on, purple. That's gross. I think Bleeding Blade was my ally one time, and I actually raged at him. He might have been my DG. I don't remember. I think. Ah, uh, I feel so bad when I do that. I get mad. Like, I worked so hard. Wow, keeping this Nether Dragon spirit really locked down for the most part, and a lot of damage going, and it's just, it's dead there. And Asterian Sunstrider right on the front lines, his, wow, he's really able to tank quite a lot with that mana damage, that mana aura, and the mana shield. Oh god, that's like one of the most overpowered healing things you'll ever see in the world. That's why in Legion TD, if you can get the mana regen guys, and then you can get the the phoenixes that have the mana shield. Oh, you spam those and you're good. You're golden. I don't think anything can kill you at the end. Not if you combine that with Hades and mana regen. Really, mana regen and any top tier mana based hero. Uh, tower. Just broken. Even the Sasquatches. That pound, instead of it being every 10 seconds, it's like every 2 seconds. Okay, maybe every five, but it's still like half the time. It's broken. It's really good. Fun to get. Hard to random. I don't like profit games. 
All right, Gay Galen says blue. I don't, I don't understand. I understand why he's so mad, but Lord on Crown on Arthas level. They don't have any ultimates. I mean, the Northern Alliance. Yeah, great. They're they're looking quite strong. Okay, they've got two crowns. They've got these really strong hero squads. Good upgrades, but their heroes suck. And I mean, just the heroes that we're seeing out of the other guys. It's a shame. Ah, oh, Mac Theron died. That is such a shame. But besides that, they were doing really good. And unfortunately, one of the strongest heroes in the game. Oh, he died actually. He lost. He lost the king. So he put the eyes of Sargeras and Troll Kalar on Galen Trollbane. No, maybe it was Teal that targeted down Varian. Maybe that was Teal just being like, "Ah, I got him." I bet it was. All right. Well, they got revenge on each other. He killed Varian, and then Dark Green killed off Mag Theridan. And but Galen Trollbane, level twenty, is still very strong, and his base armor remarkably good. Hero armor, of course, lovely. His health insane, especially with both these items on it. Problem is. <laughs> is ultimate which is really good which is every like I think at this level every 60 seconds or every 40 seconds you can fully regenerate to full health just click bam full health full health full health full health super strong this game is finished anyway Ooh, how can you be finished <laughs> alright teal teal is the last thing standing up to all this he was the only one who could fight us I don't think he could fight you no offense uh, but Brown was not that good. Brown was spamming dryads, sitting around doing nothing. All right, so now it's just Teal. How is Teal going to hold? He is building up units, and he does have a lot of money. Decent upgrades, 5-5. Five, five. It's not going to be a slaughter, but it's going to be a fight. Oh, I know the town is under attack, and I'm excited to see how that attack is going to go. All right. So, do you guys think this video is ass? <laughs> uh, it's, you know, it never hurts to try. Aww, hey there, Silent Shadows. I'm sorry if I said anything mean about you. Welcome to Azeroth Wars. It's a pleasure. Aww. And Dark Elf saying first time is DG. Oh, man. Aww, everyone's so cool. Hi guys, hi everyone. I'm just really glad you sent this game in because it was so much fun to watch. These starting fights were unbelievably even and varied. It was just a pleasure. Yeah, the Dark Green's fight for Stormwind was pretty goddamn epic, I gotta say. He held on to that for a long time. No upgrades, no tech, except for tier tech. And he got his hero up to an insane level. And now Teal is losing these units on the front line as Dark Green just continues to heal. Uh, Teal's gotta back up if he wants to have any chance. Uh Oh, was OJ feeding him money? Was O cuz he says I survive him because of OJ. So was Orange feeding Dark Green money to keep him alive? Is the question. Ooh, you sneaky guys. I, I expected better from you. I thought I could trust you. Oh. Touching my face because now for some reason I'm self-conscious about my face. Oops. So conscious about the ball. Alright, he does a few with me in it, but... That's not true, Rhino Masher. I totally look at yours. I look at... It's completely random. Like, if you guys think that there's a system, there's not. Like, if you gave me a good game and it looks funny and interesting... Sindlat, I think, commented on Hive Workshop saying he's like, Oh, it's only been Warcraft 2 lately. Yeah, sometimes I take a break. It's okay. Alright, GG, says Teal. I think that's the end, unless they split up and do something else. This uh, uh, replay looks like it finishes maybe, what, 20 minutes ahead of what I thought it was going to be? Watch. <laughs> Why don't you... Now I'm going to feel bad, because Rhino Master is going to think I actually don't look at his games. I look at your games, man. I swear. <sighs> I, I do. I look at everyone's games. If it gets sent to me, I look at it, and then I put it in the replay folder, and then I forget about it forever. And then sometimes I'll remember it, I'll come back, and I'll top deck it. I'll just top deck these replays. And that's what happens. Like, if I just top deck replays. And I, I need a system, I need people. But the channel's kind of small right now, and it's a little slow. Hopefully I can pick it back up. Uh, with some plans that we have, like the League, which is, it's taking its time. We're going to get it right. We're going to make sure we do a good job finishing that up. 
Teal's gonna stay. Teal's gonna fight. Teal might have been giving a little bit of an early GG on the hopes, but does he have net? Can he net down these Griffin Riders? I don't even know if that's an option on these Forest Troll Berserkers, but it should be. Eight and Dick's off screen. <laughs> Alright, Teal's still gonna try. Teal's not done. Mmm! Oh my god. Teal's just delaying. He was like, I don't even need these. These are stupid. He should probably keep them because they're ranged units and they'll be pretty good for a concave kind of thing. But he's gonna go with casters. Why not? If you got Zul the head, if you got the mana aura, casters never hurt. Yeah, they never hurt. Especially master level with that blood armor. Mmm. Unholy armor so good. He's got his ultimate. He's got an air force. And remember, he does have these infernal juggernauts. Invulnerable until the power generators are destroyed. And he built a Defiled Fountain of Life right in the way. Ooh, what a cheeky little mofo. Oh. That positioning. He's got to back the Mether Drakes up a little bit. Or you can just let them all die. Uh, they're heavy armor, so magic damage. Which Orin doesn't have that much of, right? Totally fine. They are holding, though. And now with the Nether Dragon up. Wait, was that a Demi Nether Dragon that he had? And then I guess he lost? Wow, he's holding. The Fell... These fell towers are really starting to chew through the hydromancers, their health, their mana, everything really starting to finally go down. And they go down in a batch, guys. Remember, it's going to be a batch of like three or four of these guys that finally die off when it happens. Sailing to a new world, says Dark Green. Dark Green, going over to Kalimdor. He's not going to stay here and fight. No, he. It's a waste of his time. He got no buffs to offer. He doesn't even have a crown anymore. Purple's out here. Purple's doing stuff. Is anyone here? No, it's just like everyone versus. Is that GG? I don't know. Teal's still alive! He's still got Infernal Juggernauts, and I'm not convinced at this point that you have enough to stay alive and get in there and kill those generators. After this army dies... That's what happens. You're gonna eat a dick. Northern Lions can eat a dick! I think Teal's gonna survive. Come on, Teal, look at you. Look at you with Zula had the whacked. Come on, chain heal the shit out of that. Mana regen. Back it up. Maybe don't die. Or you can die. That's cool. You worked hard. It was a good game. Oh, it was a good game. It kind of snowballed there at the end, but that's okay. Ah, <laughs> they're talking about the tournament. Ooh. Guys, go to diplomunion.com. It's being organized right now. Uh, you'll find the rules. And we're going to start recording, I think, this coming up Saturday. Which will be like, what, the 20... 30th? 30th or something? I don't know. <sighs> it's going to be fun. Ron, the Black Temple's going to die. There it is. It looks like they're just talking about tournament rules there. So Teal dies. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and fast forward it. Keep an eye on if he has a hero. No, nothing there. Nope, nothing there. He's still building units? Well, I guess we hear some of them being used. Call tier and archers go down. Oh, that's just chat screen if you guys want to watch that. I don't know. Maybe that's your thing. I'm not judging. It is weird, though. Alright. I think that might just be the end of <laughs> Yellow's dying. Oh, bye bye, Silent Shadows. Bye bye. He is dead now. No best. Oh, an ally orange. Are you insane, Dark Green? Are you insane? Oh, he's attacking the Night Elves. He just can't be. Gi you can't give it to him. He's too cool. Yeah, they wipe Strathalm really quickly. Uh, they're all just trading private information. Hey guys, if you want the emails, I guess it's officially in the replay. Go ahead and spam Rhino Masher. <laughs> they like, I love you. I hate you. You're awesome. Root for the teams. Right now, I think we got Team Nudes. Team Millennium. That's my favorite so far, just because it's... I hope it's a Van Helsing reference. Helsing. Ah, if it, is, is it, if it isn't the ever memorable Alucard. His Keeper, Sir Integra. The Bean Counters. And that is the end of the game, sir. I can feel it's ending. Yellow, his unit's dead. Dark Green has hunted down the Griffins and it is all over. Blothar. Uh, B. B. Lothar. 
835. Good win there. Good kill ratio. Units produced. Come on, you can do better than that. You can kill more units than you make. I believe in you. I mean, it's a good Cornadian theory there, right? You know, just like, one for one, blood for blood. Storm to get stuff. That's, that's going to be the official. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find a recording. I'm going to make a recording. And for, you know, Slugfest Sundays, that'll be the official, the official, uh, like, logo slash battle cry for it. Storm to get stuck in with the boys. And we can see heroes killed. You start keeping track of that orange with those purges and the uh, just the stuns and everything. Slows it, uh, the rocks. Oh, he's so good at hero waves. He gets so many good hero shots. Uh, Tio was the next best. Best surprise to see. I mean, honestly, uh, let's see, dark green and yellow, four hero kills between them. So Tio really doing the job of two players at the end of the day. Units killed. Dark green outbeat Tio. Tio made a lot of units. He went really unit heavy, and I, I it, was, it wasn't balanced. There was a lot of just, was a lot of just grunt catapult. That didn't work out very well. He need he needed something. He needed because that's just damage. But you need something that addresses a specific threat. You need something that addresses heroes. You need something that addresses buffs. You need something that addresses mass. You need something that addresses large units. You need something that addresses taunt, dispels, buffs, possessions, whatever, whatever your arm your enemy's army is relying on. In which case, dark green, it was just. Uh, a lot of heals and a lot of hero levels coming up there and a lot of buffs coming out of that hero he needed something that would address that and the grunt catapult theory just didn't pan out it was decent damage on the front line decent damage on the back line but nothing that the priest couldn't heal up and loth uh Barian couldn't keep more than healthy by the end of the fight i guess and maybe we should do this at the end of every replay like i just kind of do a little bit of a thoughts on what players could have done a little bit differently yellow i liked his aggression he actually was very good about keeping out there when Rhino Masher was offensive somewhere else. Yellow would move out and take the stuff. I really like seeing that at players. That's awesome. That shows a level of like awareness that, okay, you know what? I don't have to engage him, but knowing where he is is more valuable. And if I can take stuff from him, it's worth that shot. You've always got to be trying to maximize the potential of your units. And, the, and especially your time, too. Because in Azeroth Wars, with those other fights going on and landings coming, timings are very important. It's 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 fun to see, but it's kind of rare to see two starting fights end at the same time and then collapse together. North Lions did a great job remaining calm, cool, collected. I mean, they lost, they almost lost Quoth lost like three times, and they certainly lost Stratham immediately. The Skullman's fight took longer than they wanted, but they were given the time to get up their hero squads, and that's where the Doom Drop strategy starts to fall apart. Yeah, you're gonna get a base. With the Doom Drop strategy, you're going to take a base. You're going to take Capital City, you're going to take Stratholme. But the question is, where do you go from there? Do you have any uh, tech that supports a, you know, a flavor of your army that will be good against what the North Alliance is playing? If you've waited too long, they're going to have those hero squads. You have to meet them at choke points eventually. You can't Doom Drop everything. Although Blue certainly did try to get back in there. Uh, it was eventually cleaned up by Green. You know, I don't like. I'm not a fan of letting the North Alliance tech up to Paladin, Magus, Kirin Tor. It's just, like I don't think if your ally, if your enemies are doing that, you're doing something wrong. You're not putting off enough pressure. You are not doing your job if you're allowing them to do that, or or you're going for a tech too. And sometimes, just rush the units, just kill them. All right, so we're done. You guys only get to see this part of me. Uh, this has been the one, the only, the Azvin. This has been Azeroth Wars 1.88G. Hope you guys enjoyed the replay. It was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, it might not actually be 1.88G. It might be like 1.88D or something. Might have messed that up. Because 1.88G wasn't working for some reason. Someone, someone sent me a replay. It was like, oh, army's melting. And I tried playing it. And it didn't work. And I erased my version of the save map and used the version they sent me. And it still didn't work. And it said something about Sylvanas, which is weird because I didn't understand what that... Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. This has been part three, Azeroth Wars. More uploads coming. See you guys. Bye.